click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hi friends, in today's video session, we will start with another last type of your filter that is called as band stop filter. There is another name for band stop filter is called as band reject filter. Let's see how we will use this band stop filter using band pass filter and some another circuitry. We will understand the realization of this band stop filter using band pass filter first. Now in the last video session we have learned band pass filter. So in band pass filter we are just applying those signal frequencies in which we are interested. For example, I want to send the signals of frequencies 100 hertz to 1 kilohertz. So only those frequencies I will allow to pass and rest all the frequencies signals I will attenuate. So iske hi ulta mujhe karna hai. So, what I'll do, I'll just add up this bandpass signals and along with the input signal that is called as all pass signal right so this will give you inverted output let's see how it works this is my original signal let's say vi right and it is of function of signal frequency let us consider that this box is nothing but band pass filter which is with centered frequency FO and especially this band pass filter is narrow band pass filter. If we are considering wide band pass filter then we came across with FH and FL. This is fed to summing circuit right this I will directly join with the input signal itself. What does it indicate? Basically here I am subtracting this from here. I am subtracting this bandpass filter ka signal output signal from your input signal. What that bandpass filter ka signal will give you this bandpass filter ka signal will give you something like this which is giving you center frequency f0 right and this signal will give you something like this constant value of gain when it is subjected to frequency variation so if this is a constant value and this is a maximum value that I am taking into consideration for different values of frequencies. Now if we take this as a positive and this as negative then for let us understand this in this particular range let's say this is F0 right. So for this particular range I will say that this is positive and this is negative. So this signal minus this signal will nearly about this signal only. If you are considering this is completely attenuated and this is in your x axis. So if this is 0 up to this frequency let's say f1, let's this say f2. So up to f1 I will be getting the value which is maximum value. So here I will be getting maximum value up to signal frequency f1. Now what will happen as it increases towards f0 as frequency increases towards f0 the signal is increasing increasing and increasing as the signal is increasing difference between this signal and this signal is reducing. So that is why 
we are getting attenuation over here and at one particular point called as f0 both values are same right so this value minus this value if both values are same the answer will be zero so here we will be getting zero value and at f0 we are getting completely attenuated signal again the same fashion we will use with f0 to f2 if I increase the frequency further from F0 to F2, then what will happen? Your bandpass filter ka output signal is getting attenuated. And if it is attenuated, then the difference between this signal and this signal will get again increased and will attain the maximum value at F is equal to F2. That is, this is F2. And this is how we will be getting band reject filter ka waveform at f is equal to f0. So this is how we just realize this band stop filter or band reject filter using band pass filter. Now actual implementation of the band reject filter can be easily done by using bandpass filter ka exact circuit that is narrow bandpass filter ka exact circuit and your subtractor ka exact circuit right this is been done by using inverting amplifier circuit so we will draw that realization using narrow bandpass filter first and then we will use the amplifier Now if you look at this particular realization, you will get to know that this is your narrow band pass filter and this is your summing amplifier and this is how we generalize this particularly band stop filter. This is one technique with which we use this particular band reject filter and another technique is by parallel network of high pass filter and low pass filter. Now in short we will discuss about this is high pass filter with cutoff frequency of h let's say and in parallel with that we do have low pass filter with cutoff frequency fl if i'm adding these two if i'm adding these two parts this is summing amplifier now this is your input signal and this is your actual output signal which is expected as band stop filter. In continuation with this particular part, we will understand the waveform of high pass filter and waveform for low pass filter. We all know that this is the waveform of high pass filter where we are getting the frequency which are getting attenuated just below fh which is cutoff frequency for high pass filter and here exactly ulta is happening that is at the low frequency we are getting attenuation after fl now here one thing you should note that your value of fl should be less than value of fh here one care you have to take that fl should be less than fh 
unlike your band pass filter there you have to have in different scenario ulta scenario rather now if we combine these two signals right frequency by frequency then we will get to know that for zeroth frequency we are having the signal which are not attenuated because this signal plus this signal that is already zero so we will be getting the maximum value of the signal up to frequency fl up to frequency fl now what will happen after fl after fl also as fl is much much less than the value of fh still this fl will lie somewhere over here and there also we are having zero value at the high pass filter ka output so even though this fl will be as it is and we will be getting now at this particular point we will be getting the incremental value of the gain and it will get constant value after the frequency fh that is the higher cut off frequency for your high pass filter and this is how we get the band reject filter so this is also called as not that is called as notch filter and now you can easily realize this particular type of band stop filter by just using high pass filter low pass filter and the summation of high pass filter ka output and low pass filter ka output using summing amplifier this is the realization of band stop filter using high pass filter and low pass filter the above circuit is called as high pass filter where capacitor is in series with the input inverting terminal now this and this this is nothing but your low pass filter configuration make sure that rf and r over here should be same valued then that of your rf and r for low pass filter which gives you same value of gain factor maximum gain so that we will be getting the constant value of gain even before notch and after notch at the output waveform of band stop filter so this is how we have done your band stop filter we will learn mathematically what are the expression for band stop filter just now this is the expression which we are getting for band stop filter which gives you total number of poles that we are getting are 2 and total number of zeros that we are getting are also 2 moreover here we are getting same valued zero which gives you narrow band stop filter here we are getting same valued zero which gives you notch that means narrow band stop filter narrow band reject filter thank you for watching this particular video i hope you like this video if you like this video then like share and subscribe ekda channel thank you very much